Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy, Green Pastures Farm. Last day of July. Got the cattle congregated up here. They're all ready for me. They're waiting for me to move that wire right there. <laughs> you can see the difference in the green. Um, we've got a rock pad down here. We don't have it in yet. We're going to put a tire tank down below this brand new pond we just built. It's not all the way full yet, but it's full enough we're using it for water. What we've done is we've run a wire around the edge of it. You can see the cows, they can reach under that wire and drink. But they physically can't get in the pond and poop and pee and destroy it. Um, we don't we don't want to do that because it just destroys the quality of the water. But you see the animals, they're not dumb. It's, it's a hot day and they're up here on top of this dam. Now they're only, I wouldn't put them on this dam if it was wet. But it's super dry, they're not going to tear it up. There's some good forage on it. And I guess that's what I want to cover a little bit is on pond dams. I don't like cattle on dams when it's wet, but if you fence your pond off with permanent fence and you don't allow the cows to ever go into it to graze on the back of the dam, you're wasting a lot of forage on your farm. And not only that, it's going to grow up into trees. You're going to have just a, nothing but brush on the back of your dam. And you don't want trees growing on the dam because those trees get roots that go into the soil and then when those roots break down, of course, if the tree dies, and now you've got all these dead roots going into the dirt and a good pass for the water to start seeping through your brand new dam. So you don't want to do that. These cattle are only going to be, they were only here for about uh, nine hours. They're more than ready to move right now. And uh, they're just like, Greg, would you get this wire going? But it's funny how they get up on this dam. It's where it's the coolest. It, it, you know, it's, it's where the it's where they're, they're getting a little bit of uh, wind up here, and cows will find the absolute most comfortable place in the paddock, and that's where they'll be. That old bull, he's up here. He's found him a nice place. Probably trailing that heifer up there too. But there's a lot of there's a lot of feed in here left. You can see the cows didn't they didn't hurt this dam. I mean. They didn't hurt it at all. Matter of fact, you put cows on here, you're going to get some, some of that, a little manure. You're going to get some uh, trampling. And this is a new dam. I just seeded it, so there is some bare spots on it. But it will fill in with cattle grazing on it. Because every time a cow grazes a plant, it sends up more appendages and your grass gets thicker. And that's what we're about, is trying to get more plants, not less. But... Uh, <laughs> He got tired of waiting. He laid down. He's like, Greg, you're not going to move the wire. I'm just going to take me a nap. Uh, we're going to get this wire moved. we got a pretty good rain coming at us, it looks like, and thundering back in the west, and I'm happy for that. So, folks, this is Greg Judy signing off, and everyone have a great evening.